everybody, I wanted to do something different for this video. I wanted to narrate everything I got on footage. Heads up, there is a bit of a windstorm going on outside my house. So in case you hear a lot of like whooshing sounds, that's what it is. But I want to say a big thank you to Fall Obsession for inviting me on this trip. I'm really blessed to call in my family. So going into this, I have never crane hunted before at this point. I didn't even know what to expect. Very excited, nervous. I knew crane were big, but I really didn't realize how big they are. There's a lot of meat per bird. Um, Todd was saying that he was able to feed his whole family from one bird. There is a lot of meat on them, and they're also known as ribeye of the sky. We got to eat some of it when we were at the cabin. Some people left uh, some meat behind, so we reheated it, and it was phenomenal. It literally tasted like a ribeye, so I get it. Once we got to Lubbock, uh, we all kind of hung out for a bit, but I was the first one to go to bed. The next morning rolls around and it's about 4.30 or 5. I can't remember what time specifically we got up, but it was pretty early. We met up with our guy, Jake, at the gas station where he went ahead and kind of walked us through everything that's gonna be going on. We're gonna pick up some tumbleweeds along the way because tumbleweeds are the best way to kind of disguise the nappers when we're in the field. So as soon as we kind of settled in, he was like, all right, let's do a run through. So we did a run through. And then maybe 30 seconds later, he's like, he's like all right, get ready. And I mean, we had just settled in. I had like a whole bunch of snacks prepared for the day. I had drinks ready. Little did I know we would not eat those. It starts really quietly with a couple of their calls and then it gets really, really freaking loud. Jake was calling them in with like a whistle. So that was pretty cool to see that that's all it took. He's very experienced with this and he has proven that. Because what he did was he was waiting for more and more to come in. One of those things where it was like, wow, this is happening. This is once in a lifetime. And I'm so glad I have the camera rolling. And then all of a sudden he's like, okay, here comes more. I mean, one after another, all these clusters were coming in and it was insane. I am not kidding when I tell you this. 20 minutes after we have set up, we are done for the day. That's money, dude. Oh, oh, That's money, oh. dude. That's money, dude. That's We've been here 20 minutes, y'all. 20 minutes. Understandable. We're done for the day. I got to pick out three, and I ended up keeping one redhead as a good bird to mount. I haven't taken it to the taxidermist yet, but I'll keep you guys updated when I get that back. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Um, currently, actually, has my snow goose, so I'm going to do a trade off. One of the things that was kind of funny for me was that Jake was actually apologetic about how quickly everything went down. Um, we were very happy like we're gonna be able to go back to bed now we have a ton of birds we're limited out like it's a good morning once we got back to the cabin everybody um, wanted to just kind of hang out and stuff i personally wanted to go back to bed so i went back to bed and i crashed for like three hours and when i got up i went ahead and started looking at the footage and started editing it and tyler helped me put it up on the screen and we all got to rewatch the footage together and had a couple laughs because of you could hear everybody's reactions so the next morning rolls around and we have Athol as our guide and his dog bessie so i went ahead and set up the camera equipment and then we went ahead and put out the decoys and the nappers by the time we got all settled in, we could kind of hear them coming in, but it was definitely a bit of a slower start to the morning. Once we got settled in, um, it took a little bit, but then the clusters started to come in. We definitely were a bit rusty that day getting the birds down. It took us a couple of tries, got a couple of missed shots, but we were out of there again at a pretty decent time. I think we were out actually um, hunting these birds for about an hour. The day was a little slower. It was still very successful. We tagged out again. I don't think anybody picked any birds up for taxidermy that day. I didn't either because um, I already had the one bird I wanted. The rest were just going to be meat birds. So we went ahead and packed up our stuff and we got back to the cabin and we kind of just hung out for a bit because we all kind of needed to get back to our lives. They just charged a couple dollars extra for them to clean them and we all jumped on the opportunity. Anyway, we got back on the road and this time Todd rode with us and we knew we wanted to make a pit stop to see um, the founder and CEO of Fall Obsession, Sam Thrash. So we stopped at a local restaurant. We got to see Sam um, and, his, and his sweet little son. We didn't stay too long. We ended up hitting the road. We got back to Kansas City um, pretty late. And then within a couple hours, I'd have to be on my flight back to Louisville. I just recently was on the podcast that Sam Thrash invited me, Todd, and Tyler to be on. So we got to recap the trip. And they're having the rest of the group on for another podcast. So if you haven't watched it, you should definitely check it out. Basically, this is one of the most amazing trips that I've been on. It's going to be hard to top it for sure. 
On Friday, I'm headed out to Missouri to go on the annual snow goose hunt. Really excited for that. I'll definitely do the same type of video, of just kind of recapping everything. I post as much as I can, so there's definitely some content that I didn't put on the video that'll be on my social media. So feel free to check that out. I am gonna get off this video before my house gets blown over because the wind is picking up. I'll see you guys next time.